Hello everyone, it's Call for Zero, and uh, the date is January 2, 2024. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I have been Mandela affected, uh, aware for close to four years now. In three months, it'll be four years. And throughout this time, I've asked the same questions many of you have. Uh, how? You know, why? And basically what's going on, even where am I, and that kind of question, what happened? And uh, through the years, I've come up with uh, two theories, and I guess it was early 2020, I had a theory of a uh, life-death, life-death scenario where the next uh, afterlife reality or existence is slightly different than the prior and we don't realize it you know we're the last to know that kind of thing and then more recently uh like just months ago my uh, second theory was that when we're born we're in a uh, relatively small orb reality bubble which expands with you know input awareness and direction misdirection all that and through the years there is some force that knocks us out of the center of the bubble and uh, ultimately puts us on a different path or actually aligns us with a different path that already existed. So we can look back and go, no, I didn't do that a year ago, I did this. And I guess you could call it spatial displacement theory. And uh, that seemed like it was getting close, but it still didn't feel like exactly right. And I have now, uh, put together a, a new theory that feels much better to me. It feels like a strong possibility and um, it seems to work on different uh, things like different people seeing things at different times or residue or even residue changing and uh, all, the, all that stuff. And I, rather than try to like present it all from memory, I have typed a one page statement here that pretty much goes from top to bottom of how I think uh, this new theory applies to Mandela effect causation. And I will read it to you now and, you know, take, take from it what you will. Uh, if it feels right to you, if it doesn't, uh, even in your comments, if you want to post uh, alternate theories, that's great. You know, because I'm not saying this is it, but that seems to cover a lot of bases, okay? And I'll read it for you right now. We are real people on real soil, not in a hologram reality. Everything here ages organically, including Earth. As everything ages, it changes. I mean, these, in my opinion, are basic facts, maybe not 100% proven, but pretty solid. Uh, I, I'll give examples. We have the example of a five-year-old watching colorful cartoons and thinking about Santa. That's where he is. And then a nine-year-old gaining an understanding of lifespan. Wow, I'm nine now. I think I'm going to live forever, but maybe I won't. And you start, and a five-year-old doesn't think that. See, time has passed. People change. Perception changes. And another example, uh, a 16-year-old thinking no one can drive a car like I, I can. I'm the best driver ever. I know I am. And you could add other things. To that. I don't need seat belts. I'm, I'm perfect. You know, it, it's just how a 16-year-old thinks. But a 5-year-old doesn't. So our perception and the way we see life changes. Okay? <clears throat> it's all real. Established by a creator who also established the unseen realms of spirit, alternate timelines, and alternate dimensions. You know, it's very easy to say, well, God created everything. And then forget that, you know, we have spirit encounters and different things like this, anomalies. And, and a, somebody created, it's a creator, right? So let's include that, okay? Mandela effect. It's not a new thing. People in our Mandela-affected community began seeing changes approximately 55 years ago that I'm aware of. Early changes were few and far between, and that's the truth. 
it's just like, wow, whoa, that seems odd, but you may not be seeing anything for a year or more or be affected, or it just seems strange that you knew something was one way and it shifted. And you dismiss it, of course, because everybody else does. The biggest awareness surge occurred 2015 through 2016 when hundreds of videos appeared online. This is when we had all the uh, accounts of, uh, you know, please help me, am I going crazy? And all these accounts, one after another after another. And um, they're, they're documented, they're online. So what's going on? <clears throat> Same realm, greater ability to see the creator's spirit realms and dimensions is the way I see it. There was a minor awareness surge in 1997 through 1998. Many reported Bible shifts, spelling changes, and other shifts. People now have the ability to see beyond 3.0D. They are in 3.1 or 2D. They are able to, to tap into dimensions to a degree because time has moved on and we've changed. The earth has become older. We've become older. We've advanced. We think different. The control system knew it. They knew people were finally leaving 3.0D and becoming aware. They needed a major catastrophe followed by a distraction. And this was in the late 90s. They delivered both with nine... 1-1 one, one, and mother of all wars. Right? Right? Isn't that what happened? It seemed like one day everything was like cruising, then it was like the whole thing got scrambled up. They were, you were thinking about nothing else, but hey, should we attack them before they think us? We got to start dropping bom bombing and all, you know. It completely derailed it. And intentional? Timed? Sure seems so. Okay. Then came the surge of 2015. People had attained 3.3D. We've left 3.0 behind. We're not going back. We're not going back to age five. We're just not. We're, we're moving forward. YouTube initiated a censor campaign going public in 2018 with a TV announcement. We remember that. There was this big panel on TV. They're going, well, we can't clutter the internet with that crazy stuff. And of course, we, we will limit it. And the ones that we do post, we're going to put warnings and, you know, that it's just, you know, that it doesn't belong there and that, that sort of stuff. So that happened. Isn't that curious? Right around, around that time. My guess as to why only certain people were seeing the shifting as, as they were in process of seeking the unseen, like these early people that saw the changes involved in the KJV study, prayer, possibly a Ouija, mediumship, natural healings, crystal, crystals, other spiritual endeavors, they were exercising their muscle to see the unseen, and that shifted them from 3.0D to 3.1D and then further on as many of us have. It was the next step in the organic aging process. Okay. It's now 2024. We are used to seeing formerly unseen dimensions. Obviously, they're all over. They're all over. We know why candy wrappers and cereal boxes change. We've become able to see alternate dimensions. And with alternate dimensions are alternate realities, timelines, however you want to label them. Now what? Where do we go from here? Our ability to see 3.5D on our way to full 4.0D is a valuable tool. We are not going crazy. We are not damned. We are progressing. I think it's as simple as that. Things like the rear bumper of a car repairing itself make sense. In another dimension, whatever caused that damage didn't quite happen the way it did. And we, in our move to 3.2, 3.3D, are now seeing that. Even engine placement on aircraft, it's how it is in this formerly unseen dimension. That's a hard one. When aircraft 
engines, jet engines seem to shift forward on pylons on uh, passenger jets. It has to be another dimension, including all the spare parts and the hangars and all the the trained engineers and, and people that service the, the jets. It has to be that that was there. We couldn't see it, and now we can. We've moved over in our 3.3, 3.4D reality that we've grown into, and it's there now, okay? We've heard of secret military projects focused on the harvesting of alternate dimensions. This has gone back 20 plus years, right? They were years ahead of us, and now we realize we can see and manifest as well. And I think that's, I think that's where we are now with all this. And I know it's, it's often said, maybe too often said, but it is what it is. And we're not going back to age five. We are where we are. Um, people, you know, like myself and many others that have perhaps a thousand Mandela effects on their list are in the 3.3, 3.4D progression. Others that are just showing up on streams now, like in 2021, 2022, and, you know, we see them popping up on these uh, Mandela effect streams. And they're saying, what, really? Haas avocados, that's crazy. I know it wasn't, you know, I used to sell them. They are, they are at 3.1D, and believe me, they are soon going to progress further just as we have. So that's where we're going. And I think that's what I think that's what this is about at this point. And this is my third theory. It seems pretty solid. It seems pretty natural, organic. All this stuff we heard for the last, like um, I think it was thirty years ago, like nineteen ninety, was our holographic universe book came out. And you you, you search it online, it says the wide, widely accepted idea that everything's a holy, and, and they're pushing it and pushing it, and pushing it. That means it's not it, right? I mean, <laughs> we, we know by now, even if we're not fully Mandela affected, we know that there's a lot of stuff thrown at us that is a total misdirection and not for our benefit at all. I mean, it's to extract, uh, beat down, depress, you name it. It's everything but good. So anyways, that's what I wanted to present for you today. And it's good to see you all here. And please, if you'd like to comment and add any theories you have, because like I'm saying, uh, I can't say that this is it. It just feels right to me. And uh, have a very good 2024. And you can manifest what you want. And there's no reason to fear anything because that's, that's the game. That's the game to put you into a fear mode. You're upset. You're distracted. You're thinking anything but good. So don't do that. Okay, bye for now.